In this problem, we're given uh, two charged plates here, both of them having charges of Q and areas of A, and they're situated a distance uh, D apart, which actually uh, D doesn't really matter in this, uh, in this problem. But anyways, our goal is to find what the uh, electrostatic pressure is uh, between these two plates or areas uh, within the spaces of these plates. So uh, the, the key is to try to figure out, uh, just isolate it into three different um, uh, areas right here, areas above the pl this plate, uh, area to the outside of this plate, and then the area between the two plates right here. So first of all, we just go ahead and think about what the electric field lines look for these things. We know that the electric field uh, emanates perpendicular to the surface, right? So they jet outward, outward to infinity. And same thing for this side right here. They, these ones uh, will go, I guess, down in this direction relative to the way we're looking. And then uh, if we think about the in between, there's not really an electric field in between because the electric field lines don't emanate from this and then terminate onto the perpendicular version of this uh, because this is because they're both positive. So it would have that would actually do that if it was uh, negative, right? We'd have an electric field that would go this way, but since they're both positive, um, there's zero el net electric field between these two plates right here. So I'll go ahead and annotate that in. In, uh, um, we'll just call this one, two. So this would be the, like, the electric field of one. And then down here, we'd have the electric field of two. And on the inside, we have an electric field right here. Well, the net electric field is equal to zero in the middle right here. And so in the section, we were given a certain relationship about the electric static pressure, where the electric static pressure uh, is equal to the epsilon naught divided by two times the magnitude of the electric field for that region, right? And that was stemming from the, whenever you found the, uh, the, the force, force per uh, unit charge on an area. So we're not exactly going to use this for this problem because it has a direction, but um, there is a force relationship here. But we'll go ahead and work with this. And then for this first region right here, um, it was also further defined in the, uh, in the textbook that the electric field uh, for per for uh, for perpendicular plate right here or for just a, a plate charge right here uh, is equal to the electric field is uh, is equal to the the the, the charge uh, surface charge of the uh, of the plate divided by the uh, permittivity of free space and then, of course, pointing in a certain direction here. So we can go ahead and take the magnitude of this and use it for our electrostatic pressure in this problem. So it's equal to epsilon naught over two, and then um, sigma, which is just uh, uh, the total charge divided by the area. So whenever we put it into here, that's just equal to Q over A. So this is going to be squared, and then we all divide it by this, but then that's also squared over here. So that will be epsilon naught squared. And then, of course, we just go ahead and take that out, and we arrive at our final answer here for um, just one of those regions. So 1 over um, 2 epsilon naught, and then uh, Q over A squared. So this pressure is going to be for this region right here, but it's also going to be the same for this region right here because there's no um, there's no direction. But if we did have a point direction, we know that the, the pressure would be pulling the uh, uh, the plates in this in these directions, so outward away from each other. And then for uh, the pressure in the middle, there is zero pressure because there is zero electric field here, and so there's nothing. Uh, it's nothing that's trying to keep these plates together or push them away uh, when we think about the pressure on the middle. So the actual pressure, the, it's actually not necessarily pushing outward from the uh, from the middle, but it's more of a pulling outward. Uh, from the electrostatic pressure uh, between the two plates here. So uh, it's kind of an interesting way to analyze this uh, problem here.